είμαστε έτσι φαίνεται στην οικολογία να μπορέσουμε να πάμε το βράδυ για ύπνο και να πούμε έχουμε κάνει έστω ένα μικρό κομματάκι έχουμε προσφέρει κάτι λοιπόν εγώ θα πρέπει να τώρα μιας και πόσα άτομα μαζευτήκαμε εκεί πώς είμαστε πόσα άτομα Ωραία. Μήπως λοιπόν κατοικούμε να, να, να βάλουμε ένα στόχο. Κάθε φορά που μαζευόμαστε για οικολογικό σκοπό. Να βάλουμε... Συμμετείχαν 32 άνθρωποι και τουλάχιστον να φυτέψουμε 32 δέντρα. Τουλάχιστον. Δηλαδή κάθε φορά που κάνουμε κάτι να το συγκεκριμενοποιούμε και να είναι ένας πόρος. Ένας πόρος ας το πούμε. Να το πληρώνουμε δηλαδή εμείς που μαζευόμαστε. Τώρα εκεί άμα μου πεις με πολύ χαρά θα έρθω να βάλουμε 32, 33, 27, όσοι άνθρωποι ήταν εκεί, τετράκια. Και να αυτό να περάσει στο μυαλό μας, κάθε φορά που κάνουμε μια οικολογική συγκέντρωση, ότι θα πληρώσουμε το φόρο μας, παιδιά. Ποιος είναι ο φόρος, τα δέντρα. Και θα ήθελα, μιας και είναι, είναι και, είναι και υπουργό εκεί μαζί μας σήμερα. Εγώ δεν έχουμε οποιοδήποτε. No. Δεν είναι, εντάξει, δεν okay. να, να περάσουμε, να καταφέρουμε εμείς οι άνθρωποι οι απλοί, να περάσουμε στο Υπουργείο ε, Περιβάλλοντος ένα νόμο. Μην γελάσετε. Ναι, ένα Providing for the following, every square meter that is being built in Greece, I don't know which are the relevant taxes, etc., per region, but the new green tax should be the following. Every square meter that is being built should entail an obligation for the owner to plant 100 trees, 100 trees per square meter built. How much does it cost in order to plant 100 trees? Well, up to 300 euro. Do we also have simultaneous interpreting? Yes, we do. Better speak in English then. Listen, what I believe is that whatever we build, we have a building. In every square meter we build, we must pay a tax. What would be this tax? The tax would be 100 trees for one square meter. This tax would uh, sort of be something like 300 euros per meter, but we're not talking about money, we're talking about our lives, so that we breathe better. And then we're talking about wealth, because in some years, all these trees, eh, when they finish their, their, uh, uh, their lives and they die, let's say, like us, they perish, okay? Then they, we have to replant, You know, and use the wood for some good purpose. Building houses, uh, building wooden bikes, uh, boats, or whatever it is. And by the way, if you can see me here, what we do, we made already, can you see that? Very good. Can you see me? Yes? That's a perish the tree. Y yes, this is one million one million of these hearts and we are very proud eh, to use uh, the resources we have from the burnt wood from evia so i would like then to thank you so much about about holding uh, you see this we can say right? pa paul we have a, we have a translation if you want if you prefer Έχουμε διαρμηνία no, no, παράλληλα, okay. δεν υπάρχει πρόβλημα. Ah. Ναι, και, αλλά για να μην κουράζονται οι άνθρωποι, ρε, ποιοι οι άγγλοι που είναι εκεί μέσα. Ε, έχουμε δύο διαρμηνείς εδώ πέρα, εξαιρετικές κυρίες. Ah. Ε, ωραία, πράσιμο. ωραία. Λοιπόν, μακάρι από αυτό το συνέδριο να βγει αυτό. Let's hope that that will be one of the major outcomes of this conference to ensure that in every ecological gathering, the participants will have to plant a tree. We have already planted a tree, okay, it, we were more than one apparently yesterday. We will make sure that Enrique next year will plant one tree per participant. This should be a tradition in Greece, just like we've been to the President of the Republic and we know that we have to wear a tax or tie.
Likewise, when we attend an ecological seminar, we also need to plant a tree. That will be a statutory obligation. It's true, maybe you could also bring forward this obligation every time you go to the parliament or anywhere else. Well, when I become an MP, I will ensure that this will be compulsory to all. Now, I don't want to bore you anymore. I love you all. If you ever come to Athens, you are more than welcome to discover that. Can you see that? This is where magic happens. Can you see that? It's like coins. Yes. It's so good having trees as your currency. And I believe that in a few years, the wealthy states will not be wealthy due to the fact that they have a lot of gold. They will be wealthy on the basis of the number of trees they have in their territory. Let's hope that we will live to experience that. We hope so too.